Hello everyone, I am Priya from Hobby Ideas. Now we are going to make some rakhis in quilling technique, a paper craft technique where they use strips of paper to do these beautiful looking filigree kind of designs, floral designs and patterns. So basic quilling technique that we are going to use to make these rakhis and let's start with it. Quilling strips you will find in different thicknesses. So there is 7mm thickness, there is 3mm thickness strips, there are 10mm thickness strips. Depending on the choice of thickness that you would want to use for making the rakis, you can select the thicknesses of the papers. The quilling strip will come in a bunch like this. So we have to tear each strip out from the bunch. When you remove it, there is this jagged edge here that we either need to cut with the scissors or we can also tear it. The tearing will give you a soft edge. So when you stick this strip where after rolling the quill, it will merge with the surface. So it's good to tear the edge of the strip rather than cutting it. Let's start rolling this. To make a petal of a flower, I'm going to need one full strip of light color and a dark maroon colored strip that I'm going to fold half and cut it into half. Tear the edge. We're going to join these two overlapping each other. If a lot of fevicol comes out, you can just give a thin layer by removing it with a toothpick. You can keep it aside. Overlap the strip, hold it for a few seconds and it's stuck. So it's a strip with two colors now. So this is a slotted quilling tool which has got a small slit here in which you need to insert the quilling strip. So you can see I have inserted it inside. Take the strip to the edge and start rolling it slowly and tightly. Let the strip overlap each other, otherwise it may become a cone or may look uneven. To avoid that, see to it that you are rolling it evenly and tightly. And here I have a tight roll. You can even it out once you've rolled it. So you have these two colors, contrasting colors or a lighter color and a darker color petal that uh, I'm going to make and uh, you may choose more colors so if you want gradation from pink to or yellow to red you can use half half strip of each color and create gradation once I have kind of rolled this I will remove this I don't need a very tight roll I need it little loose and that's why I have left it little open inside and I'll stick the edge of the strip with fevicol. Spread it a bit with your finger or a toothpick. I usually avoid using my finger because then it may leave some stains. So this is how it looks. This is a loose quill that we have made. So we have these um, bigger quill and a smaller quill ready with us and we will need these uh, 10 each. A 7mm strip that I have here, I am going to make the center of the flower. So I am tearing it to give a soft edge, insert it in a slot, bring your paper strip to the edge and start rolling. Start rolling it tight. So we have a tight quill for the center and we have loose quills for the petals. 
I will remove it as it is, not let it loosen up and I will stick the edge of the paper with spread it evenly, give an even thin coat so the glue of Fevicol does not ooze out and this is what we have. So this is a tight quill and this is a loose quill that we've made. I'm going to shape this big quill into a leaf shape or a semi-circular shape. So pinch it from two sides. I'll show it again. You can hold both your hands and pinch it at the same time to get this semi-circular shape. So we've used one uh, full strip of quilling strip for the inside and half of this dark colored strip. For this smaller one we have used half inside and quarter for the outer side. These also we will pinch into a semicircular shape. I have these ready with me here. To make the flower now I am going to stick these two together. So these two together will form one petal of the flower. As I said, we will need to make 10 to make a 5 petal flower. Press it for some time, for like 2-3 seconds. And this is what we have. So these we are going to stick around the central part of the flower. Put a drop of Fevicol on the lower edge holds the petal like this. I may also apply Fevicol here. If it's going to be difficult for me to apply it on the central part of the flower. And I stick it here. Let's make three more petals to complete the flower. You may have to push these a little close to each other when you stick the fifth petal and this is how it goes. So bring it all together and hold it for some time. So we have stuck these five petals in the central uh, tight roll of the flowers. The smaller semicircles that we did, we are going to stick them like this to bring this flower into a raised effect. So let's apply little fevicol on the curved edge of the semicircle and then we'll stick it around the central tight roll. Similarly for all the rest of these small semicircles. So this is the ready flower that we have now which I have stuck on the satin ribbon or a band. Cut it into a length of about 10 inches and it's ready. The other rakhi that we are going to make in quilling is using a tool called as a quilling comb. This is a quilling comb and I'm going to show you how you can use this to make uh, petals of the flowers. So again, I'm going to cut these ends of the quilling strip. Fold it here. And take it from the first comb. You have to be a little careful when you do this because all possible chances for it to slip. What we will do is, we will just stick this edge before we Roll it further on the comb. Remove excess fevicol and stick this around. Hold it for a second and then we go. So this is the first round on the comb. As I am winding it around, I am taking 
it on the higher levels the next level and the next level these two holes that you see on the comb here you can attach another comb behind to increase the length of the quills that you are working on using a comb tool or a quilling comb this is what i have press it nicely you may remove it and stick it or you may stick it first and then remove it the way you are going to be comfortable and stick this strip pinch it at the end and this is how you get the shape of a petal this is how it looks so the even distances in between each layer of the quilling paper that you see is achieved with a quilling comb we have more of these ready here and this is going to be the center of the flower that i'm going to use for these petals so what i did was i did a tight quill after doing a tight quill i tried to pinch it a bit on the sides to make it into a leaf shape so this is what i have and i'm going to stick these petals around the central part of the flower spread a little fabricol keep it on the surface stick the petals you can make small and big petals by cutting the length of the strip as per you desire so we have all these petals stuck around this central tight quill that we have shaped into a leaf shape now these spaces which are left here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some loose quills let's tear this as we always do i folded it four times and i'm cutting them small i can kind of just think of a length that i would want to have for my petals which are going to come in between these petals that we have worked on the quilling comb stick the edges shape it into a petal shape stick a little more fairy call on both the sides and fill in these gaps here the ready flower that we have here will look like this so we have these ones which are done on the comb and we have these ones which are just loosely folded with your hands we're going to do little little uh, dots of quilling using a yellow quilling strip let's cut it half and then quarter roll them into a tight quill on a slotted quilling tool it will be a tight quill so we will not let it loosen hold it tightly a drop of fabricol spread it evenly and stick it we have them ready with us and these we are going to stick on the flower spread around you may need about 10 of these smaller ones so this is how it will look once we complete it all that we need to do now is to stick a ribbon below to make it into a rakhi and this is what we have done so these are the quilled rakhis that you can make it very quickly using basic techniques of quilling for the love of craft visit www.hobbyideas.in